weight transfer and how to transfer your weight is going to be critical in the correct form when you're boxing. When you're in these boxing studios, whether it's uh, here locally with me or anywhere in the world, if you're belonging to a fitness boxing studio, boutique or boxing gym, these are the principles that I'm gonna teach you on my channel. Weight transfer is something that is very critical. Every punch you throw, you're gonna to wanna to transfer your weight. You don't wanna transfer your weight too much. I like to use the analogy of, imagine I had a trough of water, a small trough of water. If I do like this, all the water's gonna to rush to one side and dump out. But all I need to do is just slowly tilt it and all the water is going to rush down to one side and it's going to get heavy on that side. If I tilt this way, the water will rush this way and all the weight will be on that. It's the same thing with your body. Let me give you a side view. When I throw my cross, my weight, I want to transfer my weight to my lead front foot by pivoting and taking the heel off the floor. That allows me to transfer that weight. When I see students common mistakes is they're just throwing their hands they're boxing just with their upper body and they're just using their their arms and their shoulders they're not engaging the core or their hips and legs and in that respect they're not putting the amount of power behind their punches and ultimately they're going to create injuries the mistake that i see is not being able to rotate and then take your foot off Common mistake is when someone has their weight on the leg that they're trying to pivot on. If your weight is on the leg, that uh, over the leg, and you're trying to pivot, you're gonna torque your knees and you're gonna cause quite a bit of injury. I can tell based on someone, I can look at a person boxing and based on their pivoting and if their heels are up where their weight is. I'll give you a side example. When I throw that one, two, when I throw my cross, because my heel is off my back foot, that tells me my weight is over my front foot. Now, not like this, I don't need to be leaning way over, but I wanna stay inside what I call the framework. You wanna try and stay inside, uh, inside your toes and inside your knees. So when I go one, two, I don't wanna go way over, I, want, I don't want my head way over my toes, I wanna to throw that way. If I throw my three or my lead hook, my lead hook, see how my foot, let me go this way, one, two, three, so on the one, two, my weight was forward. And then when I throw my three, because my heel is up off the floor, my weight's back. Not way back, I'm not leaning back, but I'm pulling my weight. And in that moment, I'm able to take the weight and transfer my weight into the punch itself. So when you're throwing, say, a, a single jab or a double jab, if you're stepping into it, just stepping and pushing off that back foot, landing and putting that weight, not leaning, but simply when you throw in that single jab, double jab, I'm pushing my weight on my lead foot. Weight transfer is key. A great drill to use for weight transfer is a stepper. You can find these in most gyms or you can buy it online. It's very inexpensive and it's a great, just a platform. If you don't have it, just get something that gets one foot, allows you to kind of, we'll go over this drill. You get in your boxing stance. Right now, I want whatever foot is on the platform, I want it to be light. So all my weight, not all my weight, but a majority of my weight is on my back foot. When I step through, now my weight's on my front foot. Let me give you a side view. What I see a mistake is, don't lean back and then come forward. You wanna maintain your upright ability, okay? So if I'm here, I'm gonna stay here, back foot, front foot, back foot. Front foot, back foot, pivot. Weights on my front foot, weights on my back foot. Weights on my front foot. You guys get the idea. Now, to get into some really good footwork, we just did that. We're gonna pivot. We can pivot to our front, we can pivot to our rear. So our weights on our back foot, forward front foot, back foot, pivot. 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 Front, back, front, back, pivot. Front, back, front, back, pivot. Front, back, front, back, 
pivot, front, back, front, back. Using the same drill, the platform, you can use, obviously you could use a, a 25 pound, um, you know, bot, uh, barbell weight or a 45 pound barbell weight, something that has your foot up there. With this drill now that we've understand our weight transfer, let's add some combos behind that. So my feet, my lead foot's on my front leg, which means that majority of my weight's on my back foot. As I come forward, I'm gonna throw my cross. Why would I throw my cross, my two punch? Because if I'm off the platform, I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna pick up that back heel. So on this one, my hands are up, back up. Now I can throw the lead hook up forward, cross, step back, lead hook. Just turn on that platform, forward, cross, lead hook. Now we can go uppercut, we'll go rear upper and lead upper. Using the same drill, we're gonna pivot. We'll come up, six punch, come back, five punch, pivot, come in, six, five, six, five, pivot, six, five, six, five, pivot. There's a lot that we can do with this platform. Have fun with this at home. Utilize this, get better with your weight trends. Let's go through all six punches. Jab, on the jab, pants, we'll get into that on a, on a jab video. Cross, your two punch, where's my foot? My rear foot, my heels up, weights forward. Three punch, lead hook, lead heels off the floor, weights on my back foot. Rear hook, my rear hook, my back foot's off the floor, weights forward. Lead uppercut. On that lead uppercut, dip, rip, dip and rip. We wanna use this hip and pop on that uppercut. Dip and rip, dip and rip. Pivot on that back foot. Simple footwork, weight transfer is key. What I'll see, show you a couple common mistakes now. When I see people throw the lead hook, I don't know what it is, but it's a common, common, common mistake. People lean forward when they throw their hook. They'll do this, side view. And what you're doing is you're putting a lot of torque. Even if I were to pivot, all my weight's on my front foot and I'm really having a hard time pivoting. I'm leaning into your hook. Doesn't make sense. You wanna pull your weight back. Get your weight, get your head off center and put your weight behind that, pop, pop. That's how you wanna turn and use that. Some people don't pivot on their front foot, but they're still pulling their weight back, pop, pop, and using that hip to drive through that lead hook. That's your weight transfer drill. So let's summarize. Why is weight transfer so important? Weight transfer is important for many reasons. Prevents injury, from your knees, it allows you to put more power behind your punches, and it allows you to pivot properly. So when you're pivoting that back foot, you're taking the weight off of that. It allows you also to get your head to move off center. Common mistakes, again, that I see is leaning too far forward, leaning too far back, okay? Leaning, putting all your weight on the foot that needs to pivot, which puts a lot of pressure on your knee, Common mistake. Another mistake that I see is not moving the head, which means they're not transferring their weight, okay? And the drills that we wanna do is using the, the stair stepper. The stair stepper is a great drill or something platform that gets you up off the ground a couple inches so that whichever foot is on the platform, the weight is not on. Weight wants to be on the floor. Anything, any foot that's on the platform is going to have less weight on it. Le like, like and subscribe this YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. Appreciate all of your comments and support. Once again, my name is Coach Steve. This is Boxing Tutorial 
really trying to drive home the fitness aspect of boxing and the experience. Whether you're in one of my studios or any studio or boxing gym all over the world, make it a lifestyle, make it a commitment. Thanks again.